Hi, I'm Perry Sessions from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the slider in the bridge theme. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your WordPress website and then head over um, to your code slider options. So if you just hover over there, there's lots of different options. We're going to just hit on slides for now. And I just want to show you what it looks like at the moment. Our homepage website is um, full page, it goes all the way to the bottom, the height does and it's scrolling through a couple of slides. We got the menu options at the bottom and the text and the, the button. So we're gonna wanna edit this page. I'm gonna open it in the back end in a new tab. And you're gonna notice something that um, frustrates a lot of people is that you don't see any options in this home page for the slider. So the first thing that shows up is this blank space of text box. We create digital experiences. So if you look down here, that's this row of content. And um, so people ask, you know, where's the slider? What, what do I do for that? It's actually at the bottom. It's below all this content. It keeps scrolling. And um, below that, there's a code general. So just below these two options, there's a few of them in the front. But go to the code general options. If you don't see it, it might be collapsed. So make sure it's uncollapsed or opened. And then um, this is a layer side slider short code is what it's called. And there's a lot of options in here, but the one that most often gets used is the um, height. So the slider animation, and then we got the height set to responsive height. And, um, or let's see here, do we not have any height? So there's no height set here, so it just does the full page. So you can set it to be an exact height. So let's just change that to 450 and hit update. And we're just gonna refresh our homepage. If you just need a quick edit of something like that, you're gonna notice there's a bunch of things missing now because we shortened it, but um, we're getting more to our um, other content on our website. This helps a lot of people notice there's more to your front page so they can scroll down, help get that below the fold um, statistics up. But um, yeah, so that's a little bit too small. We can go back to our homepage, make that a little bit bigger, say 550. And it's different on every page, so you're just going to want to watch that. And um, let's go back now to the slider options. So this, this again, isn't a code sliders. This, these are uh, each of the slides in the, in the slider. So each one has its own settings. And um, you can add new slides or create a, a, a whole new slider. So let's open up the new sliders option. So... We have the short code, I believe for this one, it looks like I might have duplicated it, but um, when you create a new slider, maybe you have another page other than your home page you wanna show the slider at the top, this is where you do it. You create a new, you name it, and you put in the slug, and then it will appear here and create short code for you. You'll just grab this and place that on whatever page that you're adding your home page to. So this is good for us now. I mean, usually most people, you just need one slider and then multiple slides or maybe one or two slides. Okay, so let's go into the Your Creative Agency. I think this is the first one. And you can affect the order of that um, by the page of the order here. So you can do quick edit on the front if you want it to be first, second, third. So um, in here, we got the basic options, the title of the slide, image or a video slide. Video is a bit tricky. You do have to have it uploaded to your site. Make sure it's under 20 megabytes. So very, very short video that loops and um, you're going to have options to um, change you know basically everything of the home page slider but um, lots of things to play with in here you can see the button options are in here this it, this really can be as much or as little as you want it to be so um, just a quick introduction of where those settings are and how to how to edit them so we're going to keep the image the same and you can upload a new one you do that here so Hopefully this was just a good introduction to you to show you where to go for those settings and how to just change even the height of that slide so you can get um, more showing below the content of your website. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next videos.